hey, hey, it's Joanna. So um, this video is continuing my Kundalini Awakening story part two. All right, so I think I just left off. I got off my phone. I started seeing spirits, hearing things, um, everything. I mean, I even seen my deceased dog at that time come into my house, drink water, and then curl up on my legs. Like, I am not joking. I think most people know that um, I, wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't make this stuff up. This is, like, for real. I was hearing things. I see my grandfather, my dog, uh, guardian angels, um, archangels, you name it. I was completely awakened and aware. And the reason why was because I was calling out for God or some help and it showed up. Oh, it showed up and it showed up very <laughs> like a punch. Um, this, I'm not gonna lie. This made me feel like I was crazy. I actually thought I was going crazy. Mind you, 30 something years, and you're tone deaf, you can't see and hear what's going on in the world. You're just waking up, indoctrinated, going to school, going to sitting in traffic, going to work at your little job, coming home miserable, eating too much shit, and then just going to bed, right? Like, that was my life. Um, I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. And I know people out there hate that too. And you don't have to be stuck in this, I promise you. All right, so now I have, I'm awakened to these gifts, and I don't teach me meditation or yoga yet, and I'm honestly not even really practicing at this moment in time. So my kundalini awakening happened spontaneously. Then, now, I was so intrigued by, like, yoga and meditation and all these things that I was like, oh, I have to learn it, I have to teach it, I have to shout it from the rooftops, and then, you know, seven years later, here I am, and I have been doing that. But now it's time to share my personal story, and I was not comfortable or ready to do that. But I think it's so important for my students to like know who their teacher is and what she has been through so that my story can maybe help you guys kind of get out of the shit feeling that we a lot of us feel. Anyway, all right, so now I'm like, I have to become, I started meditating. Okay, so I, I have an awakening. I literally hear, see spirits and all that stuff. Um, not to a level a psychic medium would, but different level. But anyway, all right, so I'm like, I want to meditate. I want to connect. I want to connect. This is amazing. Like, holy God, this is amazing. So I started meditating, and I immediately felt that energy I'm talking about in my other video, like the, the pulsating, the, the vibrations, all that. All of a sudden, mind you, I had been practicing yoga on and off since I was in high school, but I think it was just like the physical poses and kind of ignored the important part, the cherry, like the really important stuff, which is the meditation. But that was forced upon me at 32 years old. I was just so intrigued. I, I meditated all the time. I couldn't get enough of it. And what that was, it was clearing my energy of all of the depression, all of the anxiety, all of the stress, all of the things. I didn't feel good enough. I didn't feel worthy enough. I didn't feel just, there was just so many things, right. As humans. And that we go through and that we we think and that play in the back of our head that aren't true, right? So this was cleansing all the shit out. And mind you, I don't want you to think that this was like, oh, the sun opens up and, uh, you know, trumpets are sounding. No, this was, I felt crazy. I did actually feel crazy. I thought I was going crazy. Um, my emotions went from low to super high, like higher than I've ever been, like so happy. But guess what happens when you're really, really high? You drop down too, right? So it's this wild roller coaster of emotions. You think you're freaking bipolar. You think you're crazy. Um, the highs are so high. The lows are so low. And you have like no idea how to, what's going on and how to manage it. So I really practiced yoga and meditation a lot to help detox and just kind of like notice what was coming up. So when people say, oh my God, a kundalini energy can be really dangerous. It can make your life chaotic and create, damn right it can, damn right it can. But guess what? When we're detoxing crap from our body, it doesn't feel good. Think about if you're a drug addict. All right, so you're a drug addict. You want to go detox yourself and go to a clinic, right? That feels terrible, terrible as all of the toxins are coming out of your body, crying, crying. Uh, Tons of crying, tons of emotions, tons of everything is normal. Everything's perfect. These are all wonderful things to feel. It's important to feel these things. Let them rise up. Let them come up. We have to see it, feel it, notice it, 
to let that shit come out of our body. Um, if we keep this stuff trapped down into our nervous system, what happens is we get blockages in our energy and then we get disease, cancer, sick, chronic inflammation, and all that kind of stuff. All right, so that happens, right? So it's super important to cleanse, clear, meditate, do all these practices to clear everything out. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. So now for years I've just been practicing yoga and meditation and teaching, right? This is what I love to do, but I've never shared my story. This is the first time. All right, so there it is. Um, it's a lot more crazier than that. It goes, uh, there's so much, so much stories within the stories, but just for today, I'm going to leave it at that. If you're, if you feel bipolar, if you feel crazy, if you feel lost, if you feel like you are watching the world. So then, oh yeah, let me leave this part. So when you wake in, all of a sudden your glasses came off and everyone else is wearing glasses still. That sucks. I'm not gonna lie. It's a very lonely feeling. When you're like the 0.0001% in the world, that is eyes are open and no one else is. You lose friends, you lose, uh, you disconnect with family, you lose jobs, you lose anything that is not a vibrational match to you anymore. And guess what? That can be scary and terrifying. So imagine you have a spiritual awakening. You're saying, hey, I'm ready to like improve my life. I want a better life. And then you'll lose your boyfriend your best friend, I didn't lose my best friend, I'm just saying, but like your best friend leaves you, your best friend of your whole life, uh, your job, you get fired from your job, your house burns down, right? All this in, it seems awful, awful things from the outsider. However, these are all things you said, hey, I want a better life, right? Well, I have to remove the things that are blocking you from a better life. And guess what? It's not fun. So for the next years or months or years or whatever, it can be really hard. It can be really hard for people going through a spiritual awakening. And just, I want to let you know, you're not alone. I'm here. You can always email me, talk to me about it. Cause I've heard, seen and a lot, experienced a lot of things already. And that's what I'm here for is to kind of share my story so that if the story sounds similar to you, but you feel lost and alone, I'm here. You know what I mean? I have a great group of students. They're amazing. We talk about really cool topics. We're always trying to we're not just trying to like get strong legs. We're trying to really have a strong mind because this world is not easy. Uh, it is not easy being a human. Um, it's so much easier. I would love to just, no offense, like go into spirit world. Not like I want to die, but I mean like, man, how much easier would it be to just get out of this human body and be a spirit, right? But we're here for the human experience. It's not easy. It's hard. It's full of uh, things we go through, trauma. We lose people. We lose friends. We lose family members. People die and it's like... It's rough, you know, it can be rough. So anyway, I'm kind of babbling at this point, but I hope you have a little bit of understanding of me, my story, and then if it relates to you, I hope uh, you reach out and we connect. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Oh, it was just 8.15, synchronicities. So, ooh, great thing. Synchronicities are something that happens when you awaken your energy. So for me, like seeing 11.11 on the clock. So I said August 15th was my spiritual awakening day. And then when I looked at the clock, well, my timer said 8.15, right? It's really cool stuff. So the universe is just telling me, good job, keep it going. All right, guys, see you soon.